Oh, bye. Hey, the wind's picking up a little bit, Martin. Yeah, if we keep going at this rate, we might actually make it to Animal Junction this way. <laughs> all we have to do is get over that herd of water buffalo down below. Oh, yeah, look at them all. Whoa, what a herd of bovines. There's the junction. Whoa, whoa, coming in. Look out below. <laughs> A great landing. I wonder if the lemur has landed. Let's call him. Zabu Mabu! Zabu! Zabu, you made it. Hey, Zabu. Did you check out her landing? You know Zabu, he won't start yakking till he's done some snacking. Look what I have for you. Zabu sumac leaves. All right. Leaves, that's what lemurs like Zabu eat most of the time. Yummy sumac leaves? Wow, oh, Zafu. <laughs> like the creature I saw on my way here. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? When I saw her, she was eating grass. And she was chewing and chewing and mooing and mooing. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. When she stood up, she had a pink balloon on her belly. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A pink belly mooer and chewer. Do you know who she is? All right. She chews and chews and chews. She moves and moves and moves. I know who the mystery animal is. Do you? Ah. A calf. And a mother cow. Oh, a manga, Zika. All oh, the mystery animals are here. Yeah. Mm. Come on in. Yeah, come in. Come in. <laughs> hey, cow. Hey, baby cow. How you doing? A baby cow is called a calf, Zabu. Oh. A mother is called a cow. And a father is called a bull. All cows belong to a group of animals called bovines. And like other bovines, cows stick together in groups or herds. It's so fine being bovine. You got it, buddy. Thanks. This cow is a great mother. Look how carefully she takes care of her calf. And you can tell she's never very far away and is always watching out for her calf. Right? Right, she's a good mom. Check out the way a cow cleans her calf with a lot of licks. I don't think there's anything quite as slimy as a cow bath. The slimy baths are the best. Hey, my mind has a question. So where's your herd? I thought you said bovines lived in a herd, Chris. They usually do, Zabu. Mm. Cows are really social animals that live in groups, so their herd must be around here somewhere. Well, we'll find your herd. Yeah. Find the herd. We're gonna find the herd. It's herd finding time. I think the calf likes that idea. I think you're onto something. And I think the mom's looking for the herd too. Hey, brothers, how do you find a herd anyway? Hey, I know. Maybe they need a snack before they meet up with the herd. Yeah. Oh, you already found a snack. Hey, let me try some of that. Hmm? I think I'll stick to sumac. Cows eat grass, which is really hard to digest. So they chew it twice. It's called chewing your cud. The cow chews up the grass and swallows it. It goes into the stomach where it starts to digest, but then the cow coughs it back up, chews it again before swallowing it for the last time. Listen to those chew and cud sounds. 
And if you're really quiet, you'll hear the swallow. How's that? Up, oh, just came up again. And there she goes, chewing some more cud. Whoa, that's a lot of chewing. <laughs> hey, I'll call you Chewy. Yeah, Chewy. <laughs> What's she doing? Sucking on my fingers. Calves will suck on just about anything. Ooh, why does she do that? Well, a calf likes to check things out by putting them in her mouth, just like a human baby. Hey! Hey, hey, hey what's going on? She's hungry, Zavi. Now she's sucking on you. Whoa, wait, 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 whoa. There's some serious cleanup going on in here, brothers. Calves don't eat, Lever, do they? No, don't worry, she won't eat you. Calves have incredible sucking power, but they don't eat lemurs. Uh, this is fun, but I'm stuck. Here, I'll help you out, Sabu. Ready? Woo. Here, let me grab your legs. Let go. Gently. He's I'll really stuck. Oh. Count with me on the count of three. Ooh. One, Ooh. two. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> oh. 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 We I meant to do, do that. that. Uh. Oh, but I'm all uh, covered in goo. Hey, that's it. I'll call you Gooey. But now I think we got to get some food into her hungry tummy before we get her back to her herd. Uh, to the snack machine. Let's see. Chick and Kangaroo and Martin and me and Chris and Cal and uh, horse. Oh, well, there's no calf. Chris, Martin. Well, there's no food in the snack machine for Gooey. There's nothing in the snack machine, Zabu, because Gooey's mom is here. She has lots of milk to feed Gooey. Calves drink cow's milk, and so do we. We drink it out of a glass, and we put it on our cereal. <laughs> Come here, Zabu. See this? This is an udder. It's where all the milk is made. Yep, this is the cow's incredible milk-making machine. An udder. Suddenly mangatsika. Ooh, that's noisy milk. Can I try some? Uh... Open up. Uh... Hey, ooh, hubba hubba. That's a drink from an udder. Can I try milking Chewy? Yeah, go ahead, Tabu. Oh, Chewy won't mind? Oh, no, Gooey does it all the time. She drinks about five or six times a day. Wow. Go right ahead. Okay, move over. Well, this isn't hard. Hey, stop that. Stop, 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 stop. No, no, this is very slippery. It's very getting more milk on me than I'm getting in the bucket. <laughs> nice try, Sabu. But now let's watch a real pro. Oh, so that's how Gooey eats. See that? She hits her head on the udder to make the milk flow better. I can't believe my mind. Let me see. Wow. Gooey's a real super sucker. Look at her go. Huh. I'm gonna do like Gooey. A mouth is a better milker. Hmm. Oh, boy. That was utterly delicious. I think I'm so full, I... I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel cowish. How about you? Cowish. Uh-huh. I feel cowish. And I'm glad to be a cow. <laughs> Cowish. <laughs> now that Gooey's had lots of milk, we have to find Chewy and Gooey's herd. You're right, Sob. Hmm. I don't see a herd anywhere. 
Huh? How are we gonna get Chewie and Gooey back to the herd? My mind just had an idea. Chewie has a bell. And if the herd heard it, maybe they'd come and get them. <laughs> herd, herd. I like that. <laughs> We're gonna ring the bell. Great idea, Zabu. But how will the herd hear that little bell? We just have to make the bell ring louder, that's all. We have to make the bell ring so loud that all the other cows hear it. Good thinking, mm -hmm. Zob. Let's make that cowbell ring louder. With an Animal Junction Super Cowbell Amplification System. Let's build it. One super machine coming up. Me of one time in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into, oof! Well, I didn't know who I bumped into until she pulled her head out of the ground. It was Wiggy Waxwing slurping up root noodles. Hi, Wiggy, I said. Hi, Sabu! Oh, huh? I can't talk! Oh, one oh. more slurpy root noodles! Oh, 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 another one! Wiggy was wigging out all over, gobbling up root noodles. <laughs> Go, Wiggy! Until she found a root noodle that wasn't a root noodle at all. It was baby Zabumafuasaurus. Wiggy was so full of root noodles that all she wanted to do was slide down baby Zabumafuasaurus over and over. <laughs> So we slid down baby Zabumafuasaurus all day. The end. Where did I put that little wrench? Here's another tool for the cowbell super amplification system. Pass it here. Coming at ya. Did you catch it, Martin? Hey, I got it right here. Here you go, Chris. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll find your herd. Yeah! Right, it's finished. It's finished. This is it. Want to see how it works? Let's yeah. count to three and say Zaboomafoo. Okay. You want to? All right. One, two, three! Zaboomafoo! Oh, it didn't work. Hmm? I was sure we put it together right. Do you think maybe this could be the problem? Hey, you did it, Zabu! Well, I don't know what you brothers would do without me. Neither do we, Zab. Neither do we. So, should we try it again? Hey, who hubba hubba? Let's count to three. One, two, three! Zabu Mabu! Zabu Well, that definitely works. I think everybody heard that one. All we need now is the bell to call the herd to come and get them. Okay, Chewy, we have to go over to the machine, okay? Yeah, just just um, get yourself up and then we're, we're, um... Chris, Martin, Chewy doesn't want to move. Well, if the cow won't come to the machine, bring the machine to the cow. We're ready to ring the cow bell. All right, is it all set, Martin? All ready. Here goes. Worked. Did you hear that? Did you see that? They're here! The herd! It worked! The herd is here! Your herd heard the bell, and now they're here! <laughs> yeah, you're free to go home! So long! Au reservoir! Our feet are staying! See you later! Duck! In comes the duck! Hit the dirt! Nice landing! A great horned owl. No one touches in my mouth. Thanks, Chris. No problem, Zob. <laughs> Hi there. I think I'll call you Blink. Now, how's that? Do you like that? Yeah, I thought you would. And so will the animal helpers. Let's see what they're up to. Hi guys. Hi Zabu. Amy here with my friend Lara. We're searching for creatures with her father. Stop the car! Look over there, a herd of bison, and they have some babies. Bison are related to cows, but they're wild animals. And like all wild creatures, you have to give them their space. 
Especially when there are babies around. Hey, Lara, check out those two big ones. They're powerful. Sometimes the best way to be a creature adventurer is to be one in the car. That way you and the creature are safe. It's so fine being bovine. Yeah, and I know another place to find some more fine bovines. <laughs> Just what I was thinking, bro. So then I guess you're probably going to the closet? You guessed right. Hmm. To, to the, the closet! Hmm? They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. All right, it's now or never. Do it, brother. Whoa! <laughs> you can always count on the closet to do what the closet does best. Bike helmets, got them. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu. Bye, brothers. We're here in Pitur, India. And in India, there are lots of people. Around here, where there are people, there are cows. Cows everywhere. Cows in the fields. Cows in people's yards. Cows in people's houses. Cows in the middle of the road! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> cows doing whatever they want. We've got to check this out. Cows come and go in and out of the house whenever they please, just like dogs or cats at your house. And if you're a cat, one of the good things about being in and around the house at night is that it protects you from tigers and leopards. Is this your buddy? In India, cows are definitely buddies. <laughs> They're a huge part of the Indian way of life. And believe it or not, cows keep people warm. And I'm not just talking about hugging. That's right. Cow poop is made into patties and then dried and used as a fuel for fires. That helps keep people warm and they can cook with it. <sighs> Manu and Bai are going to show us another great way to use cow poop. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is great in here. See, every day they polish their floors with cow poop polish. That helps keep things looking clean and dust free. It starts out wet, but then over here you can see where it's dried. Nice, yeah, this right. is a nice place. I like your house. And when the cows come out of the house in the morning, they head straight for the hay. Time to milk the cows, then it's off to the fields. Out to the fields, guys. Cows spend most of the middle of their day grazing, filling up their bellies with grass. And while they do that, it's time for us to get back to Animal Junction. Hey, do you guys know how we can get back? <laughs> Our bikes are broken. That way? All right. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can find some other way back. Hey, everybody's going that way. Hey, where are you going? Everybody's going that way. <laughs> no, that way. The whole herd's moving that way. Huh. Maybe we should just follow her. Follow her? What's my brother talking about? Follow her to where? <laughs> That's it! Of course! Well, it's not as fast as mountain biking, but these cows are a lot more dependable. <laughs> Letting us ride with your cows. <laughs> that was so great! It's so fine being bovine. Who knows what's gonna happen next? It's very quiet in there. I wonder what Zabu's doing. Let's go find out. Hey, look who's here! It's Big Red, the red kangaroo. How you doing, buddy? All right. Whoa. Hey, where's Zabu? Oh, yeah, where is he? Zabu? Zabu! Zabumafu! Zabu! Where are you, buddy? Where is that leaping lemur? This isn't too bad. It's kind of comfy. I can just get my 
legal. I wonder what's wiggling around in there. Well, the best way to find out is to tickle it! <laughs> Stop tickling! Stop tickling! What are you doing in there, Zafu? Oh, well, I'm being a baby kangaroo. Well, they live in their mom's clutches until they're old enough to go out on their own. And since Big Red is a boy kangaroo, well, I had to find my own pouch to climb into, because boy kangaroos don't have a pouch. Well, just mom kangaroos have pouches, because just mom kangaroos have babies. And while I was inside, I started thinking about one time in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into oh, Narchi. Oh. Oof! Oh, hi, Narchi. Hi, Zob. Oh, hi, Noggin Drill. Hi, Zob. Where are you going? I'm uh, heading home, Zob. Move over. I'm heading home. Oh, hey, can I come over? Oh. Uh, I've never even seen your home. Uh, uh, no, no, no can do. Oh, well, why not? Uh, be because. Why not? Because. But why not? Uh, well, uh, because my house is just too messy, okay? Oh. Huh? Oh. So why doesn't Narchi clean it? Well, oh. my nose does have a vacuum feature. Yeah. Well, okay, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of dirt down there. I, I don't know. You Give it a try, Narchi. All right, stand aside. Coming through. All right. <clears throat> and now, now, careful with the fragile. <laughs> oh. Oh. Great job, Narch. Well, now you can both come in. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, here I go. Come oh, on down. You, here oh. goes. Watch out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow, this is a great underground house. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, come on, let's uh, race around my tunnel. The end. <laughs> So, uh, did you like that story? Well, I got lots more if you want to hear them. Hey, Zabu, hmm? maybe he's hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Let's go get a snack. <laughs> Let's see what the snack machine has for a kangaroo. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Again. Oh, don't worry, Big Red. I'll get this machine fixed. Here goes. Where is that drill? It in my pouch. What for, Zob? Oh, well, you never know when you might need a drill. <laughs> okay, Big Red, I'll have this snack machine fixed before you can, uh, well, before you can leap across Animal Junction. Take your mark, Big Red. Okay, ready? No, I got set. Big Red's ready. Zabu's set. Yeah, How about here? Yeah. Big Red's finished. So Zabu! Uh-oh. I fixed it. Kangaroos are like the cows of Australia. They roam around grazing on all kinds of vegetation. Kangaroos aren't bovines, but they do some of the same things cows do, like hang out in big groups. But these groups aren't herds. They're called mobs. Talking about cows, a kangaroo regurgitates his food, too. He throws it up so he can chew it again. Yeah, cows and kangaroos eat and digest grass in the same way. They eat it, spit it up, and eat it again. Oh, so they're double chewers. That's right, Zob, they're double chewers. And you know what else? What? <laughs> they can go for months without drinking water. They just get it from the food they eat. Check this out. Look at how the kangaroo holds on to the piece of celery while he's eating it. He uses his forelegs almost like hands. Watch the way he grabs this. I use my hands to eat, too. Well, I guess he's full. Hey, brothers. I was a monk and seek a baby kangaroo, wasn't I? The best, Zabu. Hmm. Except maybe for a real baby kangaroo. What do you think, Big Red? I guess it's a lot easier being a baby kangaroo if you really are a baby kangaroo. But I was pretty good at pretending. And I bet you are, too. <laughs> Everybody likes to jump like a kangaroo. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing. We're both deepers, so we're gonna leap off home together. <laughs> Bye. See you later, Zabu. Let's all keep on leaping. We'll see you later. Bye. Hi, my name is Jira, and this is my type Red Lantern.
Flying Bodies. Let it fly! Here comes an underhand back toss. I'm going long! All right! You know who else can really fly? Zabu. Let's call him. Zabu! Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Zabu! Zabu's here, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Come on. Hey, Zabu, how's it going? Nice leap and good climbing. Look how high he goes. Now that's what I call a leaping lemur. Whoa, Zabu. I bet you Zabu's looking for fruits. How about an apple? Zabu loves apples. There you go. No, not the whole thing. That's too much. Here, wait, wait. Wait, here, I got a piece for you. There you go, here. Oh, you want that big piece. What creature did you see on the way here, Zabu? I saw a fox face up in the sky. He looked a lot like that guy over there. And the creature I saw, he had wings. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had two big eyes, a, a pointy nose, and ears like a fox. Huh? Huh? Down creature. <laughs> well, I've never seen that before. A flying foxy upside down creature. Do you know who he is? Pointy nose and ears with a furry body, flying with big flapping wings. Of course, a flying, flying fox. <laughs> Rats crack the mystery again. Manga Sika, the mystery animal's here. He. From his head to his toes, an amazing creature. Hey, brothers, what doesn't he get dizzy hanging upside down like that? Well, actually, Zabu, he's used to it because a flying fox's body is specially designed to hang upside down for long, long periods of time. Wow. How does he sleep? He sleeps just like this, hanging upside down. Manga Tsika, that's amazing! Yeah. Look at how those ears pivot in every direction, picking up the sounds. <laughs> Can you do that with your ears? Try to move your ears like a flying fox's ears. Take special ear control. So there are two foxes in Animal Junction, this guy and the red fox. Well, the red fox is a fox, Abu, but the flying fox isn't a fox. He's called a flying fox because he kind of looks like a fox. Take a look. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. But actually, a flying fox is a kind of fruit bat. And there are over 900 species of bats, like the ghost bat or the mastiff bat. <laughs> that bat looks like a dog. You're right. And then there's the vampire bat. Of course, we can't forget about the bat we call the flying fox. And get this, he's also called a fruit bat. A fruit bat? But he looks like a fox, not a fruit. He likes eating fruit, Zabu. Hmm. Fruit bats are frugivorous, which means they eat mostly fruit. Frugivorous. 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 He eats fruit? Right. Huh, phew. So we both like fruit. Yeah, Zob, but you're not nocturnal like a bat. Oh, nocturnal. Sleeps during the day, awake at night. Exactly. During the day, flying fox bats hang out together in a group or colony. And get this, a colony of flying fox bats can have over a thousand bats. Manga Zika, that's a lot of bats. It sure is, Zob. And when a flying fox wakes up, he grooms himself and heads off to find fruit trees.
You know, I eat a lot of fruit, too. Yeah. Do you mind if I call you Fruitball? It's a pretty good name, huh? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, you, you're hungry? Well, no, no, you stay there and rest. You had to fly a lot just to get here. It's my turn to, to fly up and, and get you some fruit. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. I'm flying! I'm flying! Uh, uh oh Well... I, I meant to do that. Oh, flying's harder than I thought. Well, Sabu, you're an incredible leaping lemur. All you have to do is leap up there and grab a grape. Yeah, but I want to fly like a fruit bat. Huh? I really want to fly. Why can't I fly? What does fruit ball have that I don't have? Huh. Well, let's see. He has two ears and I have two ears. And he has feet to grab that vine. Oh, well, like me. And he has arms, and... Do uh, you see anything else, Saw? Uh... Know what? I'll show you. Whoa. His arms! The skin goes all the way down to his feet! That's because his wings are actually arms with skin stretched out between the fingers. Now that's amazing. See, his upper arm is way in the back here, and this is his elbow, and it goes all the way down to his wrist. Now, all these bones here are his fingers. So, when he spreads out the skin between his fingers and his arms, he flies. Not only can his wings fly, but they can climb, too. His wings are both wings and arms. Wow! He has wings and arms, too. Well, if I want to fly, I need wings. Brothers, you got to build me some wings. Wings! Coming right up. You want to try them on, Sabu? Does a bee like honey? Lay them on me, brothers! <laughs> all right, hold still. Oh, we'll get yeah. wings all set. First, we got to strap on the body harness. Thanks, Chris. I'll the arm. Okay, where do I put them? Right in here. These are manga tzika. Hey, fruit ball, look, I got my wings. Now I can fly just like you. <laughs> hey. That reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I heard someone say, That's a jumping lemur. That ain't no body femur. <laughs> hey, Zabu! <laughs> hey, who said that? It's me, Zobster. Sounds like Bugly. Bugly the superstar. Hey, you want to fly with me? Sure, Bugly, that would be great. Hop on. Flying is a superstar thing Whoa. to whoo, do, Zabuma Foo. And the secret Whoa. to a great flight is a great takeoff. <laughs> well, how do you take off, Bugly? Well, I run and I run and I run. I get so fast that I can feel the wind in my wings. What do you think, Zabuma Foo? Can you feel the wind in your wings? Huh? <laughs> I don't have wings, Bugly, but I can sure feel the wind in my fur. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> and now, get ready, Zabu Flabu, because we huh? are gonna take what? off! You ready? Here we go! <laughs> and we did! We started flying! <laughs> flying straight! Hi, Zabumafuasaurus! Yo, Mama Z! You, the end! <laughs> so, uh, did you like that? <laughs> he liked it! Hey, watch this! Hey, now I gotta try my wings. <laughs> Don't worry, fruit ball. I'm gonna get you that fruit now. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, I'll get it this time. One, two, three. <laughs> it's all in the wrist action, zombie doo. Okay, this time for sure. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm flying. I am flying. I'm really flying. I, I, uh, uh oh, cool. Uh oh, I'm not flying anymore. <laughs> Stop. Not again. I, I uh, meant to do that. Yeah. Duck! Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A feather. One of the bird's secrets to flying. And did you know that most of a bird's wing is made of feathers? That's how they can fly so well. And here are some cool flying facts about feathers. 
Feathers give the bird's wing a certain shape to help the bird fly. Different wing shapes do different things. Some birds have high lift wings and others have soaring wings. And get this, feathers are really strong to deal with a lot of flapping and high winds, but they're really light too, so birds can get off the ground. Now, feathers have non-flying uses too, like looking good to attract a mate. And you know what else? A duck's feathers are waterproof. And that's important. In order to fly, feathers need to be dry. Oh, wow. Well, do you see how the water rolls off her back? See? I wish I had feathers like that. Then I wouldn't be so soaked. Exactly. So check out this mother goose teaching her goslings how to waterproof their wings. First, they put their beaks under their wings because that's where a special waterproof oil is. Next, they wipe their oily beaks all over their feathers to make them waterproof. That oil keeps their feathers dry, fluffy, and ready to fly. Brothers, I need help. We need feathers or fruit bowl's never gonna get any fruit. Feathers, feathers coming, coming up. up. <laughs> Shot feathers! Feathers everywhere! Whoa! I never realized how many feathers it takes to cover a wing! I know! 124, 125, 126, 127! <laughs> Come fly with me! Ready to fly? Ready! Here goes! Flap faster, Zabu! Some bats flap their wings 20 times per second! Well, how fast is that? That's about this fast! How do they do that? I can do it! I can do it! I'm flying! I can fly! All right, buddy! Die! I'm gonna get some fruit! He's a fruit flyer! The grapes are in I did it! You really flew, Zabu! And you got the grapes! Here you go! Thanks, Zabu! Nice toss! No, it's a fruit for all! Yeah. And nice flying! And now Fruit Ball has as much fruit as he wants. Oh, here, here, here's some more. There you go. Uh, and he got it. <laughs> Whoa, he ate the whole thing. That would be like putting a grapefruit in your mouth. Wow. Now, have you ever imagined what it's like to eat hanging upside down? How do you swallow? It takes some serious muscle coordination. Hmm. Let's see how he handles an orange. Okay. Look at that tongue. Wow. He's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, bananas. Let's see what happens here. Uh, using the finger to take a piece off. Oh wait, forget about breaking off little pieces. He's going for the whole thing. <laughs> wow! Boy, he's gonna get really blue. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how much fruit it takes to make a flying fox boogie. <laughs> you want any more? No, I think he's boogie, Martin. You're right. And we figured out what it takes to make a flying fox boogie. One grape, a big bite of banana, and some orange juice. <laughs> hey, now that he's boogie, I want to really fly. I want to fly faster and farther and higher. Come on, brothers. Help me out. You got it, Zabu. All right. I'll strap the turbo booster right here. And I'll attach the tracking transmitter device. All right. And now the fuel pump. I can't wait. Are you guys almost oh, finished? Oh, yeah, Zab. We got high-octane stuff here, buddy. Turbo rockets for increased muscle power. Uh -huh. Fuel all pumped up. We're ready to initiate countdown.
Where'd he go? I don't know. Is that Zabu? Duck! He's not Zabu or a duck. He's Moonface the Barn Owl with a message from the animal helpers. Moonface is an amazing flyer. He can fly so silently that he can ambush his prey without even being heard. Let's see what the animal helpers are up to. Look at our glider go. Nice landing. Whoa, we'd better not disturb her because this is an important time of the year for dragonflies. And here's why. The dragonfly starts out as a larva and swims around the water until she's ready to become a dragonfly. Then the larva crawls up on a piece of grass, sheds her skin, and becomes a dragonfly. So what was a larva is now a dragonfly. Whoa, what a great flyer! She goes in so many directions so fast! Look at her amazing wings! She has two pairs. They're so thin, they're see-through. That helps her fly really well. Just like our glider. Brothers, I need your help. Oh, how am I gonna land? Sounds like a trip to me. We've gotta help Zabu figure out how to land. To the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Oh. 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 It's a good thing we attached a tracking device to Zabu. That's a signal, and he's headed that way. This altitude visibility is clear. He's not his Abu Chris? I have him on the radar, but no visual. Wait, there he is! <laughs> hey, Zabu, how's it going? Uh, great, yeah! Uh, I feel like a bird! <laughs> I can't believe my mind! But, uh, brothers, guess what? <laughs> I don't know how to land! Well, that's why we're here, Zabu, to help you out! Uh, thanks! Mark, down there! A white back vulture. Hey, that's it. We can figure out how the vulture lands and then tell Zabu. Great plan. Hold on, buddy. I'm holding. And I'm putting her down. Over here. Get a good view from out here on this ridge. There they are. Vultures, what great flyers. They glide through the air so smoothly. Now, if we can just find one landing. Chris, over here. She's not landing, but she's landed. Oh, yeah. This vulture's preening. That means she's cleaning her feathers and getting them ready for flight. If you're a bird, keeping your feathers clean is one of the most important things in your whole life. Because without clean feathers, flying would be impossible. Hey, brothers, have the vultures shown you their landing secret yet? Because they're not telling me. <laughs> We're working on it, Zabu. But all the vultures are flying. And who knows when they're going to land, because vultures are incredible soarers, and they can just circle and circle for hours without ever flapping their wings. They just find an air current and go along for the ride. Awesome. Vulture chicks! Hey, there's one of the parents guarding the nest. That means the other vulture will have to land soon. They have to come back and feed their chicks. What? Feed their chicks? But I'm ready for my first landing right now, brother! That was close. We better get Zabu landed and fast. Hey, check it out. Vultures are circling. Probably means they spotted lunch. Yeah, they're looking for carrion. You know, meat that's already been hunted by another creature. I wonder what it is. That's what? A cheetle deer carcass. And I bet I know whose meal that was to begin with. You think of what I'm thinking? Indian wild dogs. They caught the cheetle. Hey. And now they're back. The dogs are chasing the vultures. What goes up must come down. This will be our chance to watch one land. Hey, circle, looking for a landing place. There. Touchdown. Did you see that, Sabu? Sabu? He's heading back to Animal Junction. Oh, we 
You better get back there. Whoa! I'm on a dead Come on. Whoa. I'm going down. Setting down. Whoa, a golden eagle. Huh? Oh, yeah. He's giving me some landing lessons. <laughs> Golden Eagles are great landers. Let's see how he does it. Select a spot. Feet out front, wings to break. Yeah! Wow! Now that's what I call a smooth landing. Huh. That's how you land? Exactly. But different birds have different styles. Flamingos sort of walk down on the water. Others hover over the spot first and then plunk down. Some use their feet like water skis. Sliding right in. But eagles can put on their brakes in midair and then land. Put on their brakes? In the middle of the air? Wow. Well, let's try it. Great idea. Let's slam on our brakes in midair like golden eagles. Swooping like an eagle. Golden eagles are one of the fastest birds on Earth. Diving like an eagle at 200 miles an hour. Whoa! Soft landing pad. <laughs> yeah. Here's some towels, guys. Thanks, Ab. Whoa. Check out these chest muscles. These are the muscles that help them fly. But eagles don't fly right away. You see, young eagles have to do a lot of practicing before they're airborne. This young eagle is flapping away, testing his wings. But he's not quite ready to take off yet. It's a big step off that branch, and an eagle has to know what he's doing. This reminds me of one time in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, leap. Leap when I leaped right into Bugly. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Coming down. Whoa. Hey now, what's happened there, Zabu? How'd you get so high in the sky? I told Bugly I was practicing my high power flying leaps on my lemur legs. Ah, there's nothing like flying, Zabu, to do. Nothing. Hey, let's fly together. We both <laughs> went high in the air. Bugly used his wings and I used my lemur legs. Whoa, whoa! We came down and landed in a soft coconut bush. Oh. And everyone knows how yummy coconuts are. Well, he wanted to eat some, but we couldn't open them. All of a sudden, I felt something. And then this funny blob with eyes floated up to say hello. It was Whoa. Phoebe and all her crazy legs. Ah. Oh, oh, hi, Phoebe. Hey, Phoebe. Hi, Bugly. <laughs> Want me to crack huh? your mocha roll? Thanks. Hey, yeah. great idea. Oh, oh thanks. Oh, oh, Flying fun. But so is eating coconuts with your friends. We ate and ate and ate for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> time really flies. It's time to go already. What was your favorite part of the day, Zabu? Oh, flying like football. <laughs> I liked learning how to fly vulture style. Mm. I loved watching Zabu fly out of that window. <laughs> now, I've heard of leaping lemurs before, but never of lemurs who can fly like a bird. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. I guess I better fly home. Lemur style, that is. <laughs> bye, brothers. See you later, Zabu. Bye-bye, buddy. And we'll see you next time, back here at Animal Junction. Hi, my name is Philip, and this is my dog, Dylan.
Don't fence me in. There's nothing like hiking in wide open space. That's where it's at, brother. Right. Do you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from this log. A mother raccoon and her kids. Hey, everybody. Looks pretty cozy in there. Might seem small to us, but it's perfect for them. We'll leave the mother raccoon and her babies because you always give a creature her space, no matter how little space they may take up. Let's call Zabu. <laughs> Zabu Mafu! You see him? I don't see him. Where could he be? I don't know. Where is he? On the tree. Here he comes! Hey, hey. Zabu! So, Zabu, who'd you see on the way over here today? He's ready for snacking, but he's not ready for talking until he's had a mango. Catch, Chris. Mangoes. Mangoes are slimy. Yummy. Give me some of the food. <laughs> I don't know if Animal Junction's big enough for that leaping lemur. Well, if it's big enough for the brothers, it's big enough for me. Mangatsika, baby raccoons. Hey, do you think they're just visiting? Or are they gonna stay? I don't know, Zob. Raccoons don't make their own nests. They try out other creatures' empty ones. So maybe this hollow log is the place they want to live. But who knows? Hmm, my mind is thinking. Brothers? What, Zob? I want to stay here in Animal Junction. I'm moving in. What are you talking about? Well, all the animals who come to Animal Junction, nobody ever stays. My mind decided that I'm going to stay. So you want to make Animal Junction your home? Yep. And the creature I saw on my way here today, I'm going to see if he wants to stay, too. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? The creature I saw, he kept moving, moving, moving. Well, he never stopped moving. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did Dark brown body with gold on the sides. And he broke a tree branch with one chop. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A big tooth moving everywhere creature. Do you know who he is? Let's see. Dark brown body with gold on the sides. Moving, 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 moving. It's a tough one, but a great one. A wolverine! <laughs> what an amazing creature! Come, oh, let's take off! The mystery animal's here! This is great. Wolverines are one of the largest, prey-pouncing, muscle-bound musculoids of the North. Otherwise known as Gulo Gulo. That's a wolverine's scientific name. Gulo Gulo? Hey, that's what I'll call you. Do you want to stay and live here at Animal Junction with me, Gulo Gulo? You're going to be great to share a home in Animal Junction with. Hey, Gulo Gulo is on the go-go. <laughs> See? See how much room there is to run around here? Well, I like leaping myself. <laughs> and there's lots of space for that. There he goes. A wolverine is always moving. Their home territory can be 900 square miles. That's the size of half the state of Rhode Island. Well, what do you think, Gulo Gulo? Well, isn't this a great place to run around in? You can have lots of fun here. So, you want to live here? A gulo gulo? Gulo gulo is real fast, and I have to be a real leaping lemur to keep up with him. All right, but Zabu, now that gulo gulo is taking a break, let's check him out. He is dark brown, with a flash of gold down the side, gold on the head, and white on the chest. Oh, yeah, and you can always see those white teeth and the white claws. Look at the wolverine's huge paws. They're great for walking through the snow. A wolverine is a carpal walker. That means he walks not only on his hands, but also on his wrist bones. That gives him a bigger area so his feet don't sink in the snow. And that's important because a wolverine lives in the snowy north. Well, if you had a nice place here to live, you'd stay, wouldn't you, Gulu Gulu? Yeah, 
Yeah, Animal Junction's the most manga seeker place in the world. Well, don't you think so? And there's some cozy places to sleep, too. Look. Well, you like this, Gulo Gulo. This is called a hammock. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, this is perfect. Hey, Gulo Gulo, there's a hammock for me and a hammock for you. Yeah, the brothers are showing me how to use them. You'll really like it when you want to slow down and take a nap. <laughs> no? Was it something I said? You like taking naps, don't you? Hmm. I don't think a hammock's right for a Wolverine, Zop. But, hmm, are you sure? Oh, well. Where are you going now? You sure like to move around a lot. Oh, oh. I meant to do that. Oh. I can't keep up with you. You cover a lot of ground. Hey, trust me, hammocks are really nice for a nap. They are. Oh. I meant to do that, too. Think we can take a little break? <laughs> Where to now, buddy? Oh. A wolverine hardly ever rests. He just takes short naps every now and then. Most of the time, he's on the move. That's Gula Gulo. You just can't fence this creature in. But I think Gula Gulo's not like other wolverines. He doesn't need that much space. All wild animals need their space, and wolverines in particular need tons of space. If you're a wolverine, you usually travel alone, searching for food, and that search can take you miles and miles. And you know what else? A wolverine is a super predator. He is one of the most powerful, strongest creatures in all of North America. He can even go head to head with a grizzly bear or a pack of wolves. It's one tough creature. Manga, Zika. Wolverines need wide open space. A creature like this can't live in a house like humans can. A wolverine is so tough, he can chase a grizzly bear away from his meal. I mean, he can even chase a bear up to 10 times his own size away. Now, you gotta give a creature like a wolverine his space, and so do bears. Uh -huh. Well, if you stuck around here in Animal Junction, you'd never have to chase a grizzly bear from your snack, because there's enough to eat for everybody here. Well, hey, what are you looking for? He's probably looking for food. Well, come on, the snack machine's over here. You can get a snack here just by pushing a button. Good deal, huh? Well, let's go! When you see how easy it is to get food here, you're never gonna wanna leave Animal Junction. One push and, oh, the snack machine's broken again. Well, don't worry, the snack machine does that sometimes. It's a good thing I'm around to fix things around here. But you better stand back, Gulo Gulo, cause this could get rough. <laughs> Tools. <laughs> I had it in my pouch. <laughs> what for, Zob? Oh, well, you never know when you might need a drill. <laughs> I'll have this snack machine fixed before you can leap across Animal Junction. <laughs> Watch this, Gulo Gulo. The Crack Brothers taught me how to use this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, this is easy, easy, easy. Oh, sorry. I hate it when that happens. That's <laughs> up. But then again, I love it when that happens. <laughs> okay, one Wolverine stack coming up. Come and get it, Gulo Gulo. Check out that jaw power. A wolverine is an omnivore, which means he'll eat anything, like insects, eggs, deer, even a big creature like an elk. He'll also use his strong paws to dig up roots. Finding food in the wild is hard work, so after the hunt, it's time for a nap. Wow. Look at Gulo Gulo's teeth. Those are manga tzika. Hey, watch this. We're breathing together. I just know there's something to keep you in Animal Junction. Uh, I know. How about if I tell you a story from Sabu Land? I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I met Sai. Hi, Sai, I said. Oh, hi, Sabu. <laughs> Sai, do you have a home? Why do I need one? Well, yeah, everybody needs a home, Sai. Oh, come on, no, I'll no, show no, you. No, 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 no. Noggin Drill, huh? can Sai and I come down to your home? Oh, sure, Zabu. Come on right in. Uh, come on in, Sai. Oh, thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Here. This oh, is Noggin Drill's no, no, no. underground home. Say, uh, let's race through the tunnel. Perfect for him. Oh, 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 oh. 
And this is Snow Lemur's snowy mountain home. Oh, oh hi, Sabu. Perfect for him. Oh, hi, Sai. Oh, oh, uh, anybody hi, like an icicle? It's kind of cold up here. Well, who lives down there? Huh? Come on, that's Phoebe's water home. Okay, well, let's go. Whee! Oh, this is a fun home too, Zabu. Well, I, I guess I should drive my own home now, Zabu. I have an idea. Huh? Come on. This tree will be a perfect home for you. Help me up, Slymantha. Oh, sure, Zabu. Thanks, Slymantha. Oh, you need time, Zabu. Look at all the fun things you can do in the tree, Sai. Oh, thanks, Zabu. I'll try a home for a while and see if I like it. Yeah. And so he did. <laughs> the end. Did you like my story, Gulo Gulo? He's running around again. And I still don't know if he wants to live here. I have an idea. Maybe if I think like a, like a wolverine, then I'll know what'll make him stay here in Animal Junction. I need to think like a wolverine. I'm feeling wolverine-ish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel wolverine-ish. How about you, wolverine-ish? I feel wolverine-ish. Wolverine-ish. I'm a strong, tough weasel, and I love to roam around. Wolverine-ish. Hey, Manga, Sika. Now I get it. <laughs> now I know how a Wolverine thinks. I do. So you're telling my mind don't fence me in. You're saying, I gotta be free. I gotta live my life as a wolverine. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> you got it, Sabu. A wolverine like Gulo Gulo needs wide open spaces. Yeah. We don't need hammocks. What we need are wide open spaces. <laughs> Whoa! You okay, Sabu? Oh, yeah, I, uh, I've got an idea. Watch this. No walls, just wide open spaces. Yeah. What do you think Zabu's up to now? I have no idea. Oh. Zabu, what are you doing? We'll see. Ugh. I need something bigger. Oh, that's it. This should do it. That didn't work. I need something bigger. Huh. Oh, I'm like a wolverine. Yeah. Okay, it's time for my buddy the drill. I think I know what he's up to. Yeah. Wait, Zabu, you can't do this. This is crazy. Crazy? Just watch. Timber. This kind of thing only happens in Animal Junction. <laughs> well, Gulu Gulu. <laughs> Wide open spaces, here we come! Come on, Gulo Gulo, let's do what wolverines do best. Let's cover some ground. Hey, you're a good climber. I love climbing too. Junction's a fun place to visit, but all creatures need to live in the wild. Thanks for being my Wolverine pal, Gulo Gulo. Brothers, Gulo Gulo has places to go, miles and miles to run, and lots to do. See you later, Gulo. Happy adventuring. He really needs his space. You're so right, Zabu. Incoming! Duck! I don't know why the brothers keep calling you a duck. Well, don't they know by now that you're a, uh... uh... A golden eagle. Yeah. <laughs> and look at the gold feathers on the back of his head and neck. That's where he got his name. Oh, yeah. And look at his feet. Those are called talons, Zabu. And those talons pack a powerful grip. Oh, well then I'll call you Talon. Golden eagles have such huge wings. Her wingspan is six feet wide. Whoa! Your wings are longer than, 
Well, then my whole body. Hey, and he left a message from the animal helper. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. Lots of bugs and ants get inside your house by accident. So I decided to make sure all of them got back outside safely. Come on, little guy. Aren't caterpillars amazing? One day this little guy will be a butterfly. But my favorite place to see him isn't inside the house. It's outside. Go on, caterpillar, all the way home. There are lots of creatures that find their way inside your house by accident. The best thing we can do to help them is help them get back outside so they're free and in the wild. That makes me want to check out more creatures. My mind smells a trip. <laughs> to the Come closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out oh, the yeah. door. Bye, Zab. Bye, brothers. We're here in the wide open spaces of the African savanna. And as soon as we get finished setting up camp, we can go wander around and check out all the creatures living free and in the wild. Here in the African wilderness, there are no fences, no bars, nothing to keep animals from doing whatever they want. All right, we have so much ground to cover. Oh, this is gonna be incredible. Yeah, let's do so it. many animals to see. So let's get out there and see what they're up to. Bam! I think we're surrounded by the pride, brother. I think you're right. Back in the tent. I can't believe it. Lions at our doorstep. Awesome. And those two cubs are playing. <laughs> and if lions want to play, they need a lot of room to do it. <laughs> That's one creature you have to give a lot of space to. Yeah, and he needs a lot of space, too. That's right. A lion's home range can be anywhere from 10 square miles to 300 square miles. I don't hear the lions anymore. No, I guess the coast is clear. All right, let's get back out there. Let's do it. <laughs> Retreat! You know, I'm starting to feel a little fenced in. <laughs> Me too. I mean, we're on the African savanna. We can't even get out of our tent. But we can check out a rhino. And her whole herd. Rhinos are the third largest land mammals in the world. But for such a large creature, they really don't need that much space. A rhino might even spend her whole life in a range of just one square mile. Now, that's what I call a small home range. Seems like the rhino's grazed on. And now we can finally get out into those wide open spaces. Yeah. Can't wait to get out of that. Oh, look at elephant. Ooh, uh, you know, uh, maybe we should hang out in our tent a little longer. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Are we ever going to get out of this tent? <laughs> oh, it's a breeding herd. I think they're thirsty. On a hot day, a water hole's the place to be. Yeah, a herd of elephants will travel hundreds of miles to get to water. And you know what's amazing? An elephant can drink 26 gallons at a time. That's a whole bathtub full. That felt good. <laughs> hey, now they're having a dust bath. That helps keep an elephant parasite free. <laughs> that didn't feel very good. <laughs> Herd's heading out. Guess we can too. Well, it looks like it's the first time today that there's no creature standing right in front of our tent. Yeah, out here there's enough room for all kinds of creatures. Including us. Let's run with the creatures! I'm right behind you. And whether you're fast or slow, ah, whoa! There's no feeling like being free and in the wild. Ah. It's great seeing creatures in the wide open spaces. But it's also great to get back to Animal Junction. Let's see what Zabu's up to. Hey, look who's here. Whoa, grizzly bear cubs. It's Longclaw and Tuftooth. Hi, guys. I'm giving Longclaw and Tuftooth their space. 
because I remembered what you told me about giving bears their space. Good going, Zavu. And you know, you can only get this close to grizzly bear cubs in Animal Junction. I'll show you what he means. Mm -hmm. This is close mm -hmm. to us. And this is far to us. But it's close to a grizzly bear. Grizzly bears are tough creatures, but they're mostly only dangerous when their space is being taken over. Especially if a grizzly mom's space is invaded. She's the most dangerous when she has cubs to protect. She keeps her cubs really close to her and watches them carefully. Even a male grizzly bear will sometimes back off from a female with cubs. Long Claw and Tuptooth seem pretty happy here in Animal Junction. These cubs might stay together for five years, but then they'll go off on their own and look for their own territory. Yeah, usually grizzly bears don't like having company. The only groups you'll probably ever see are a mom and her cubs. Come on. But there is a time when a lot of grizzlies will get together. That's when there's a lot of food around. Whether it's berry fields or salmon streams, large numbers of grizzlies will get together to eat. Some grizzlies travel hundreds of miles to get to salmon. When the fish go upstream, grizzlies have a feast. They don't even mind if there's other bears nearby because there's so much food to go around. Grizzly cubs, like Longclaw and Tufttooth, grow pretty quickly. They stop drinking their mom's milk at about five months, but they stay with her until at least the second year, and sometimes until three or four. <laughs> oh, that tickles. So Longclaw and Tufttooth will grow up and go off to live on their own? That's pretty much the way grizzly bears do things, Zabu. Oh. She's going off on her own right now. Yeah. Oh, she's saying hi to you guys. What's that? Oh, yeah, I guess so, me too. If you're gonna live with anyone, it might as well be your mom. What are you guys talking about, Zabu? Oh, he said that that's their mom calling, and they gotta get back to her so they can go back to living free and in the wild. But wait until I tell you a story about one time in Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, leap, leap. Leap, leap, when I met Sai. Oh, hi, Zabu. Hi, Sai, I said. How do you like living under the tree? Oh, this tree's not for me, Zabu. I like floating around. I'm bored. Maybe my idea wasn't the best. Oh. You like to float around, Zabu. Right? Yeah, I like being on the move. Oh, I know what Sai means. I love snowy Mount Zabumufu, but sometimes I come down just to play with the sand. It feels good in my fingers here. Yeah, 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 yeah. When it gets too dark in my tunnels, I drill holes and things up here. Mm. I don't stay in this pond all the time. Sometimes I travel through underwater rivers to other ponds. Yeah, there's nothing like living and running free in Zabu land. Well, let's go, everybody. And everybody ran in their own way. Well, I leapt, of course. Oh, yeah. Snow lemur waddle. Let's cover some ground. Yeah. Since it ran on his fingertips, no, run, 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 run. and Slimantha run, run, slid in her slippery yeah. way, and Sai floated, like always. And we all realized that some creatures need more space than others, but everyone needs their space. The end. I think they liked your story, Zabu. Did you? <laughs> they did. <laughs> And now it's time to go. Then again, maybe it's time to tickle Chris. <laughs> We're all tickling Chris. Zabu, <laughs> stop. I give, I give. <laughs> Look who's here. I think that might be their mom. When mom says it's time to get home, I guess she really means it. Yeah, you gotta go when you gotta go. Bye, Long Claw. Bye, Tough Tooth. See ya. <laughs> I had fun, fun, fun. Today, Long Claw and Tough Tooth are the best. Yeah, and Gula Gula is pretty great too. Yeah, and you know what, brothers? Well, I really don't mind that Gula Gula didn't want to stay here in Animal Junction, because I know there's nothing better than a creature living out in the wide open spaces. Living, living free and in, in the wild. wild. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names. But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Yeah! Brothers, I don't think I can live in Animal Junction after all You don't think so, Zabu? Well, I'm a wild creature And I think I need my space And besides my mom and dad would miss me. Oh! Well, you'll come back, though, won't you, bud? Well, try keeping me away. Bye, brothers! See you later, Zabu! And we'll see you later, too. Here at Animal Junk. Go on, Chris! Got it! <laughs> Hi, my name is 
Salvatore. My dog's name are Nikki and Gibson. <laughs> Super Claw. Well, it was there, and we climbed it. An iceberg. <laughs> And we even brought some of it back with us. You know, ice climbing is a lot easier with these special shoes called crampons. Yeah, the claws on the bottom of these shoes can really dig in. Whoa, look at these amazing claws, lobster claws. They're even bigger than my crampons. Wow, look at that tail flick. It zooms her through the water. Zabu's gonna love to see this. Let's call him. There you go, buddy. Zabu! 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 Zabu Mafu! Here comes that leaping lemur. Hey, hey Zabu! Zabu. <laughs> so, buddy, you wanna scratch? <laughs> there you go. Hang on. Let's see what the snack machine has for Sabu today. Walnuts! I'll need a little help with this one. If I had claws like a lobster, I wouldn't need this. Sabu, I've got a nut. Want a tap? There you go. Better boy. <laughs> Look at Sabu's feet. You can see his toenails. Oh, you don't want it anymore? Give me some of the food! Hey, brothers, what's this? It's a pinata. Hmm? There's a lot of cool stuff inside. Stuff that's always a surprise. Hmm. The trick with the pinata is busting in to see what's inside. Everybody knows that busting into a pinata on your birthday is a lot of fun. Full of surprises. I gotta see what's inside. <laughs> okay. I don't think my hands can break in the pinata. Oh, oh, oh. oh! I meant to do that. <laughs> he might figure it out with a little help from his animal friends. Who's that? My mind can't believe what it's seeing. She's the biggest, clawiest water bug I've ever seen. That's a lobster, Zabu. Oh. She's a crustacean, which means she has her skeleton on the outside of her body. Crustacean. Oh. Lobsters and crabs are crustaceans with claws. Wow, I love crustaceans. <gasps> Oh, oh, Are you okay? Oh, oh yeah. No, I, can't see, I can't believe my mind. Lobster got me with his super claw. Oh. Hey, I want some of those. <laughs> What's some of what? Super claws. How about it, Martin? Why not? All right, let's see. Gotta have serrated grips. Plus, we gotta position the joint for maximum Mama power. Zika. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Whoa, I love claws. Yeah, Come on. these are super claws with special lobster features. Whoa, claws, just like the lobster. Ready or not, piñata, here I come. Super claws will help. I'll try my lobster claws to get inside the piñata. It's not working. Well, they're good for grabbing, but not for getting inside a piñata. Hey, I saw a creature with claws on my way here. Who could she be? This animal who I did see, can you help me guess this mystery? She had a long tail that could grab things like branches, a wraparound hanging tail. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Four paws for climbing, and those paws had claws! Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A super clawed tree loving creature. Do you know who she is? All right, let's review. Long climbing claws, grabby tail, big eyes. 
I know who the mystery animal is. Do you? Kinkajou! Kratz cracked the animal mystery again. It's a Kinkajou! <laughs> Yay, the mystery animal is here. He... Incredible! Whoa, what an amazing climber. Tail, paws, and claws. <laughs> climbing claws, huh? Yeah, and climbing claws are sharp and curved for a good grip. <laughs> hey, you want to go climb around some more? All right, let's go. Me too. Mm -hmm. What a great climber. Hey, wait for me. Kinkajous can really climb. Yeah, Kinkajous have great climbing claws that really grip into the tree branch. She likes trees like me. She sure does. A Kinkajou spends most of her time in trees, so she needs special climbing power. Her long, sharp claws on her front and back paws dig in and help her get around. She's a super clawed creature. Super claws, huh? Well, I have leaping lemur claws. Well, nails, actually, I guess. My mind just got a great idea. Chris, I need some help in the claws department because my claws are, well, kind of boring. I need some climbing claws. You got it, buddy. Huh? <laughs> yes, climbing claws. Here's a challenge. All right. So we need a lot of sharp points. Yeah. I gotta get clean power here. Chris, watch out for the roll. Whoa! Oh, sorry, Zob. <laughs> all right? Okay, now back to the clean power. I gotta get the curve in these claws so they grab on right. Yeah! Yeah! Kinkajou super claws! What do you wow. think of them, Zabu? They're Manga Zika! Let's try them out! Yeah, now I'm Zabu the super claw! <laughs> 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 uh -oh. <laughs> wow, look at this prehensile tail in action! Did you see how he grabs his tail to pull himself up? He uses it like a rope. A kinkajou is great at hanging upside down, and she's not the only one. A flying fox hangs from his curved super claws all day long, until he flies off at night. A bat can fly with his claws. I can't even get up. I gotta, yeah. Oh, finally. These are Mangatsika Super Claws. Now I'm Zabu Super Claw. <laughs> Pinata, here I come with my new claws. <sighs> Kinkajou Claws. These will get inside this Pinata. <laughs> They're claws for tearing and defending. Yep. yep. Okay, she'll stand up like that to defend herself with those sharp claws. Another amazing use for those claws. It's Super Claw Defense, and Bobcats do it too. <laughs> Well, they're not so good for getting inside the piñata! Oh! Not again. Almost. Okay. Yeah. Phew, that's better. Excuse me, Kinkajou. Wait a second. You're not a Kinkajou. You're a sloth. I know you. You're slow high. Hey, I know you too. Hi, slower. Slow and slower are here. I'm surrounded by super claws. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> I need more push-ups. Yeah, with muscles the bear cup. <laughs> hey, check out slower. Amazing. This is incredibly rare. Sloths hardly ever come down to the ground. They only come down to the ground when they have to go to the bathroom. Excuse me. I think Slow wants to be alone when he poops. Yeah, here we go. Go ahead, Slower. A sloth hangs out in trees, and I mean really hangs. See that? His claws hook over a tree branch, and his body hangs down. His feet and toes are hidden in his fur. You can only see his long, curved, pointed claws as he very slowly makes his way along the branches. A sloth moves less than 125 feet in a whole day. You can walk that far in 30 seconds. Wow, what super claws? Their curved claws are kind of like coat hangers. Perfectly designed for hooking onto and hanging from branches. And a piece of bark, sloth claws can hold onto anything. And kinkajou claws are great for holding fruit. 
Now we have two super clawed upside down creatures in Animal Junction. Hey brothers, look! Slower's having an upside down nap! Wow, they can sleep hanging upside down. But how do they do it? I, my hands are tired all uh, already. Oh. Whoa, here's how you do it, Sob. Want to see if Chris is perfectly designed for hanging upside down? Oh. <laughs> Sob! <laughs> I guess not. Prats don't have super claws either. Here you go. I've tried lobster claws and I've tried kinkajou claws, but sloths have super claws too. So you know what, Martin? Now I need some hanging upside down claws so I can hang with my sloth buddies. <laughs> I'm all over it, Sabu. Well, you're making my super claws even better. I'll tell you a story about one time in Sabu land. I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I leaped right into Bugly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. coming down. Whoa. Hey now, what's happened there, Zabu? How'd you get so high in the sky? I told Bugly that I was power leaping on my super <laughs> lemur legs. If you got them, use them, that's what I say. If it's fun, do it again and do it right away. Come on. Okay. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. We fell into a coconut bush. And everyone knows how yummy coconuts are. Well, we wanted to eat some, but we couldn't open them. All of a sudden, I felt something. And then this funny blob with eyes floated up to say hello. It was Phoebe and all her crazy legs. Oh, hi, Phoebe. Hi, Want me to crack your mocha? Thanks, Phoebe. Hey, good idea. Oh, thanks. So, Bugly and Art ate Bokanuts all day long. The end. Okay, so we've added the hanging hooking claws to the climbing claws to make the new super claws. Think I better super claws? Here I come. Am I doing it right? He's got the arm over arm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Hey, you're a natural hanging climber. Yep. Go You're climbing just like the sloth. Pretty good. Wow, these hanging upside down climbing claws are manga tzika. I'm feeling super clawish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. Well, this kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel super clawish. How about you, super clawish? I feel super clawish. Super clawish. I'm a long clawed claw and I can do it all. Super clawish. <laughs> okay, piñata. Oh, these claws must be great for breaking piñatas. I've got to see what the surprise is inside. The claws work. Oh, we're free. Yeah, oh. yeah. Drilled, huh? I did it! I finally did it! Well, Zob, you found out what was inside. Way to go! Yay! It's the Zobu Land characters! I didn't even know they were hiding inside! <laughs> surprise! 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 Well, Zob, you found the right claws for the job. Yeah, sloth claws aren't really meant for ripping and tearing, but they did the trick. All creature claws can do special things. They do what the creature needs to survive. Whether you're a koala climbing up eucalyptus trees, or a black bear cub escaping from danger, a Harris hawk sitting on a branch, a praying mantis grabbing prey, a tamandua digging for termites and rotten wood, or an eye eye poking for insects. All creature claws are super claws, built especially for them. Super claw! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Hey, look! The kinkajou and the sloth are climbing up in the beams. Hang on, super clawed buddies. Here I come. Yeah. Well, this isn't so bad. These are gonna work fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, I can't hold. Oh! Oh! Itching powder. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. The itch is back. I'll never fear. 
I'll help you guys with my super claws. Oh, no. Not the super claw. No, anything but the super claw. Here I come. No! Sabu. Huh? Our shirts. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have used my lemur tooth comb. I think my super claws are a little bit too clawy. Uh, brothers, could you? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks. And you know what, brothers? My mind decided that kinkajou claws are for kinkajous and sloth claws are for sloths. Everybody has their own claws for a good reason. That's what we've been telling you. Me, I'm happy with my leaping lemur nails. They may not be super claws, but they work okay for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zabu sure knows about claws. And so do you. Incoming! Duck! <laughs> oh. It's Sticky Feet, the Peregrine Falcon. I can't believe his super claws. Yeah, <laughs> these super claws are amazing. They're grabbing claws, perfect for catching birds in midair. Let's see what the animal helpers are up to today. Hi guys, hi Zabu. My cat Myrtle loves scratching the furniture. The problem is my mom doesn't really love it. So how do I get Myrtle to stop scratching the furniture? Easy, make a scratching post. A scratching post is made of some wood, carpet, and anything else that Myrtle might like to scratch. Get your mom or dad to help you. Just glue the pieces together, staple on the carpet, ta-da! Now Myrtle can scratch all she wants, and everyone's happy. Aren't we, Myrtle? There are all sorts of super clawed creatures. Let's check them out. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet, and they're headed out the door. To the creatures! Bye, Zabumafu! Bye, Zab! Bye, brothers! Out here in the African wilderness, super claws really come in handy. All around us, creatures are using their nails and claws on their hands and paws for survival. Just have a look around. Check out the mongoose claws. And the meerkat's long, skinny claws. Wolberg Eagle Claws are talent. Praying Mantis Claws. Chameleon Claws. Crocodile Claws. And Cheetah Claws, which don't retract, by the way. One of the greatest super claws in Africa is the lion. Lions use their claws to hunt prey, like wildebeest. When they feel like it. And they also use them to steal food from other predators like Martin. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Chris. I guess this might happen to a lion going after a porcupine. <laughs> I know how to protect my snacks. <laughs> Doesn't hurt that much. Hey, super clawed mongoose diggers. Diggers have to have super claws because there's a lot of good food underground that they can get at. Look at those mongoose go. A mongoose is one of the best diggers around. Look at everybody digging out here. A mongoose stands with legs apart, shoveling the dirt behind him, and he's fast. That goes for meerkats too, another kind of mongoose. As soon as he finds a nice juicy millipede, snack time. Oh. Ah, you know, I think mongoose are better diggers than I am. Ouch. You know, it doesn't hurt too much, just a flesh wound. How you doing, Chris? I'm fine now. <laughs> All right. Oh. Chris, a leopard! Awesome. A leopard is a major super clawed creature. To the trees! Let's put what's left of our claws to leopard climbing. The super claws of the leopard make him a great climber. And climbing is essential for a leopard's survival in the African wilderness. Martin, the leopard, he spotted us. Uh -oh. I don't think he wants us in the same tree. Time to bail out. No 
We're gonna have to clear that acacia, but those thorns are as sharp as claws. You think we can? We have to. I thought for sure we'd clear that acacia. Oh, so did I. Ah, you know, these acacia thorns, they don't just hurt, they kind of itch, too. Hey, we're not the only ones scratching. Look at those super claws go. Looks like all creatures are itchy in Africa today, and they all have their own special claws to scratch with. You know, Chris, we really have to work over our leap over a tree and over an acacia bush. I know. Back to the jungle. I wonder what Sabu's up to. Let's find out. Tigers! Hey, we know you guys. Popper, pop up. Great to see you again. And I see you're after the balls as usual. Those claws, the balls don't stand a chance. Maybe this time I can stop them. Hey guys, uh, you want to leap with me uh, instead of popping all the balls again? Uh, uh, guess not. One of the most incredible things about a tiger is his super claws. And they practice with them. Oh no, there goes another one. Tigers have amazing retractable claws from the time they're cubs. And they practice them, retracting them and scratching to keep them sharp. Look how she can use her claws to grab even a small branch. Amazing. Hey, Popper, you want to play? Yeah. Popper's practicing using her claws, because when she grows up, she'll use them to hunt. <laughs> Another thing a tiger uses his claws for is marking his territory. The scratches in this tree mean, hey, this is my space. Check out the super claw face spot. <laughs> Whoa. What? All of these Mungatsika super claw creatures remind me of one time in Sabu Land. Ow. I was leaping along, leap, 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 and I landed next to Snow Lemur. Well, he was playing in the sand. Hi, Snow Lemur, I said. Hi, Sabu. I really like playing in the sand. It feels good, yeah. Oh, I like sand, too. It tickles my fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah, mine, too, yeah. And sand tickles my sides, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, it tickles my sides, too. <laughs> it tickles. Oh, it tickles. <laughs> oh, it tickles. <laughs> hey, wait a second. What's going on? Sand can't tickle your sides. Oh, you're right, Zabu. It's me, Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. I'm the one who's tickling you with my tentacle and big claw. <laughs> Oh, did you like this? Have you tried my swim through my super claw game? Oh, uh, play in warm water? No thanks. To... Nah. Oh, wait for me, Fibby. I want to play your water game. What is level? Honey, let's play swim through my super claw. Yeah. Hey, Slime Manta, hey. come and play with us. Oh, thanks, Yum. I'd love to play. Oh, hey, Fibby's on the slippery like mine. <laughs> come underwater with me okay. and we'll play. <laughs> Here I go! Woo -hoo! <laughs> okay, are you ready? And so we did! Fibby opened her big claws, and Slimantha and I swam through them. We jumped off Fibby's long arms and swam through her claws all afternoon. Fibby is my underwater super clawed friend. <laughs> the end. Great story, Zob. Well, thanks. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his body behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came Super claws! These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! I guess I'd better leave home. Bye, brothers. See you later, Zabu. Bye, Zab. Hey, Chris, you know, have we ever seen the reptile with the longest claws? The Komodo dragon. Let's go. We'll see you next time. Bye. My name is Beatrice, and this is my cat, Muffin.